Okay, so in this lesson we're going to talk about functional groups in a little bit more depth. Up until now we've only looked at, really, we've only looked at hydrocarbons, um, so carbons and hydrogens. I did mention, you know, alcohol groups. Uh, I mentioned methyl groups, which are still carbon and hydrogen um, atoms. But we're going to talk about other functional groups uh, today. So in an organic uh, molecule, a functional group is an atom or group of atoms that always reacts in a certain way. So if we have a, a functional group like an alcohol group, okay, they have, that has, an alcohol molecule has specific properties. And this functional group, an alcohol group, on a hydrocarbon chain, you know, will act in a predictable way. The addition of a functional group to a hydrocarbon structure always produces a substance with physical and chemical properties that differ from those of the parent hydrocarbon. So when we're talking about uh, symbols, okay, for carbon chains uh, or carbon rings, we typically use a uh, this the letter R, okay. So when you see an R, it means that it's some kind of carbon chain or ring. The reason why we're going to substitute R for a carbon chain is a um, we're going to focus on the functional groups, what they look like, um, what they're called, naming them. And we're not going to worry about the parent sort of carbon chain. So an R represents a carbon chain, um, or R prime represents another carbon chain or carbon ring. And this all makes a little more sense uh, as, we, as we do some examples. An asterisk represents a hydrogen atom, a carbon chain, or a carbon ring as well. So I'll show you what I mean. Um, you'll see this, the R and the R prime. Okay, so you don't have to copy all that word for word, but there's R, R prime, and also an asterisk is also used. All right, so you can take out your take out your sheet that you should have. If you don't have a sheet, um, you know all this stuff will be up here right now. But if you you all should have this sheet. Does everyone have this one? Okay. All right, as you look up on the board, a lot of the same stuff on your sheet is up on the board. Okay, so here are organic compounds and their functional groups. Now. Um, we've talked about alkanes, we've talked about alkenes, we've talked about alkynes. These are different. These are functional groups that have atoms other than, uh, you know, carbons and hydrogens. So, for example, find on your sheet the halocarbons. You see halocarbons on your sheet anywhere there? Okay, so AKA alkyl halide. Now halo or halide, we're talking about the halogens. Okay, that's group 17, that's the family or the column right next to the noble gases. Okay, so fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. And here's where we we have the general formula. Okay, R is some carbon group. That's where, that's where we get the R from. The R is some carbon chain or carbon ring. And attached to that is one of the halogens, okay? So either F or Cl or Br or I. This is the general general formula. So that would mean like something like this. You could have this, all right? So you have, you know, you have your hydrogens there, hydrogens there, and then you have a fluorine attached, okay? So this is a um, an alkyl halide or a uh, halocarbon. Okay, that's what that looks like. The functional group is, of course, a halogen. And uh, if you're if you're naming this, okay, uh, and on your sheet you should have uh, a little indication of how this is named. So we have one fluorine on the number one carbon, right, or attached in the one position there, the one carbon. So this is going to be a fluoro, and then there's two carbons, fluoroethane. Fluoroethane. So that's what this one's going to be called. This is going to be fluoroethane. Fluoro for fluorine, eth for the two carbons, and ane for the single bond.
That's called fluoroethane. The, uh, the second type of functional group that we'll talk about is the alcohol group. We've mentioned that before. An alcohol is an OH attached to some carbon chain. Okay? And it's called a, a, a hydroxyl group. Okay? So the hydroxyl is the OH. That's what the functional group name is. So it's a hydroxyl. And if you look on your, uh, your little uh, sheet there, do you see where the alcohol groups are? Uh, it's the third one down after the after the break there. So the alcohol group ROH. So it's a hydroxyl group. And if we were to name one, okay, let's do another example down here. Let's say we had uh, three carbons and a hydroxyl group, an alcohol group there, what would we call that? Look at your sheet, see if you can figure that out. Yep, and actually, it's exactly the one that I, this example is exactly on your sheet there too, isn't it? The alcohol group could be connected to this carbon or to this carbon. And so this is a, actually a one prop, because there's one, Two, three, ethane, ethane, propane, um, prop, ane. So that's the single bonds, propanol, and all. The ending is all. That's the alcohols have alls at the ending. Okay, so this is one, propanol. This would be what? Two propanol. Very good. Okay. So we'll stop for uh, we'll stop for the lesson today on um, we'll talk talked about these first two. Uh, so we'll continue another lesson another day here on the uh, as we move through this list. So that's the halocarbons and the alcohol groups.